This meeting is being recorded. Hi, this is Ann again with a real, real quick anagram on one problem I've now seen two people in a row have with this week's code to draw circles. And it's another good example of um, using the debugger to, to solve a mystery. So um, I got a request from this student to help him figure out why no matter what he does for um, calculating the width of the canvas for what we're supposed to draw is failing. And um, as you can see, he's had several trials for what the width should be. And in fact, he actually has the correct code right there, sitting there. But his um, question had to do with no matter what he has for a calculation, including even this really simple hard-coded version of um, 16 times the radius, it, um, he, he gets this, this really weird effect when he draws his page. And um, that's here. Um, and as you can see, basically his canvas is not drawing at all. So um, I do know what's wrong, uh, but what I would like to do is show you how, um, how I figured out what was wrong and how you can use the debugger to do the same thing. Remember that after this code has run, any code that has been loaded into the page is available to use from the console. So I'm over here, I've got this page um, where even the canvas isn't drawing right, but I have my console up, and one of the things I want to do is take a look at what is the current canvas width. And again, with the console um, in JavaScript, you can simply type in things that are defined and get back values. Okay, and the reason that this canvas isn't drawing 1600 wide is because the canvas width is only is only zero. So the question is, why is it zero? Because he has a calculation here that specifically says um, that the canvas width should be 16 times radius. So let's take a look at radius and see what its value is. And its value is undefined which is pretty weird because over here he has a dummy circle and we know circles have radii and he's doing get radius so clearly he um, call he added this function to get a radius so let's just explore a little bit um, i can actually create my own variable let's call it test c instantiate a circle object And um, although that says undefined, it um, is because this whole equation doesn't actually return a result. If I, if I type in test C, I actually get that circle object here. I can drill into it. I can see that the radius is 100. And if I wanted to, um, you can actually access these properties directly. I've been having you write accessors for them. But if I type test C radius, you can see that the value is 100. So how can 16 times 100 equal 0? And the fact is, in the code, if you look back over here, he's not accessing dummy.radius because I told him not to, I told him to write an accessor. He's writing dummy.getRadius. So let's see what that actually does. And if I type dummy, not dummy, because we're using test C over here, get radius, and I call that function, the result of that is undefined, which is really weird, um, because we knew up here that radius was 100, and generally speaking, an accessor should not change the value of your object. So let's just double check that. Look at test C again. And wow, that accessor function did change the value of radius. So now radius is undefined, and undefined times 16 would equal zero. So at this point, we've drilled down enough to know that probably there's something wrong with his get radius function. And um, it, doesn't, it doesn't make a 
you, you can look at that here in the debugger. If I just click on this, I get taken to that code. And, oh, okay. In the setters, we're setting this, anytime we like set the size, we get a new value and the correct code inside a setter is take radius and assign it the new radius. But here, this is a getter and all it's supposed to be doing is returning the value. And there are two problems. Getters don't have arguments and getters have to have a return statement or they aren't returning the value. So really what's happening here is this getter is, is taking an undefined argument and when that comes in as a parameter, it's setting the circle's radius to that, which just is totally backwards. So if we go back over here to his circle code, we see the same thing as we were seeing in the debugger. He's acting like he's going to get a value for get radius, which you don't do, and he's setting the radius as opposed to getting it. So what this function should actually look like is Now, um, one of the things that's cool about JavaScript, I'm going to, because this is somebody else's code, I'm going to delete what I just typed in in just a few minutes. But if I have two definitions for get radius, the last one is applied. So I'm just going to go ahead and save that code. Um, I'm going to come back over here and shift re refresh this page. Okay, and then suddenly his code is looking great. And if we were to go back to console, and I were to look at, um, just real quickly, equals new circle. Uh, can I just hit tab? No, I guess not. I can select that though. Um, and test C has a radius. And test C's getter should now work. And it also is there, and it does not change the value of test C's radius. Okay, so uh, that's one way to use the debugger is to actually inquire of your objects and variables what their current state is and explore how they got that way. Hope that helps.